what is up guys it's your boy clouds here I'm back again with another video and as y'all can tell by the title we doing the update threes complete leveling guide zero to 325 um i know i'm like three weeks late to this uh but again you know same as last video uh people requested to do this so we're getting right into this um this might be a pretty long video so i guess just prepare for that so first things first when you first come into the game um you spawn right here and the first quests I recommend you do, I don't recommend you do this one just because it doesn't really give that much XP. All you have to do is go find a necklace or something like that. Um, I recommend you do this quest right here, and which is this right here. You guys can see I have to defeat five different bandits. And all you do is just go over here and just defeat the bandits. And that's pretty much it. I have to keep pads on, by the way, so that's why I can't hit them. So after you're done with that, I recommend, I, I, I'd say do this quest until you're about like, 8 to 10 because it's going to be a little bit hard to fight the bandit boss which is this guy in the middle right here um, if you're not like that level unless you have like a lot in defense so do that until you're around like 8 to 10 and then do this quest right here which is defeating the bandit boss all the way up to your level 15 and then that's pretty much it for this island one more thing to note about this island is if you go over here you can buy um, guns a lot of people actually disregard this or forget about this or don't even know about this um at the time of beginnings but this is where you buy guns right here so yeah just keep that in mind um i think they're like a couple hundred pelly you should be able to buy them after you're done with the first couple quests but yeah that's pretty much it for the town of beginnings um pretty easy island you just stay here until you're level 15 and then you go get ready to go on to the next island and this also is uh something people forget to do um you, you could buy a boat right here. Now you could buy either the uh, rowboat or the caravel. You also need to buy a uh, hammer. You don't need these cannonballs, but you do need to get some wood just to get you started off with. So after that, um, after you're level 15, you come talk to this lady right here, Haku, and she'll give you the directions to go to Sandora, which is directly just straight west from here. As you guys can see, straight west from Town of Beginnings, you run into Sandor. And uh, by the way, I just want to note, I'm going to include how to get to every island. It's just going to be sped up. That way, you know, this is actually like a full-on guide uh, showing you guys how to get to each island. But once you've gotten to Sandor, um, you're going to stay to this island until you're 25. So you come here at 15, you're going to stay here till 25. And this one might be a bit of a grind because you're not going to be able to do one of the quests by yourself. And that is this um, boss lucid right here. You're not going to be able to do that boss by yourself. Um, if you have friends that can help you, then cool. But this, the reason this is going to be so much of a grind is because you're going to be doing this quest over and over and over again. And this quest is pretty much the same thing as the Town of Beginnings quest. You just fight these bandits over here. These ones will be quite a bit harder than the ones on Town of Beginnings. So I recommend you have a bit of defense so you're able to just hit them, you know, the normal M1s, and then block. So... I would say farm this from 15 to 25, however, if you have friends, you can farm this boss right here. Uh, basically that quest is just giving you the quest to fight the lucid boss. And the reason the lucid boss is so hard is not actually the boss himself, but it's these guys right here. Um, let's say you were trying to fight lucid, as soon as you even come up those ladders, this guy right here will aggro to you and start shooting at you. And then these all, all these other guys will aggro to you and start shooting at you. And I mean, it's solo. Like As a new player, it's like actually impossible. You got a bunch of these mobs all on you at once. You're going to get ganged up, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it. So yeah, um, I recommend like you try to get some people with you. Or if, even if you're in a public lab and you have no friends, you could ask for help. That's how I did it when I first started the game. You know, I just went and asked someone for help, even though, you know, they weren't my friend per se or whatever. But but yeah, um, Sandor is a bit of a grind. I will say that much, considering that um, the whole boss thing and not being able to do it yourself. So Sandor does take some time, it feels like. But once you're level 25, it's pretty much the same thing as uh, time beginning. So you go over to this guy. And this guy tells you what to do next. So next town we're going to go to is Shell's Town, which is also a bit of a grind town, I feel like. Um, but to get to Shell's Town, you just go directly in the area he's facing, which is straight north. And that's pretty much how you get there.
Okay guys, so as you guys can see, if you went straight north, you'll eventually just run into Shell's Town. And this is the next town that you are going to run into. So you, you, you turn in the quest to this guy once you're done. And then what you can do, set your spawn over here, uh, get the log post over here. But one thing to note about uh, Shellstone is there is a new boat for you to be able to buy, which is the fastest boat in the game. You can buy a Peli, Galleon, go 75 speed, but it costs like 15k Peli. I just thought I would mention that to you guys. Okay, now that we've got that out the way, uh, pretty much the same as the other island. I don't really recommend doing this one. All you have to do is just find a cat, and it doesn't give you that good amount of XP. So the first question you'll be doing is this one. And you have to fight these corrupt marines. So you're going to be level 25 doing this. I would say stick on this quest until you are level 30. Um, this quest is a bit hard because sometimes, um, let's say if you were to hit like another one, multiple of them would gain up on you. Also, these guys are just harder than the last guys on Sandor. So yeah, stay in this quest till 25 and then follow my exact um, area. So before we get into the next quest, if you have friends... I would say pick up this quest and do this. Now, the, all this quest is going against Axed Hand Morgan, and he has a chance to drop um, this item right here, which is the Metal Draw. Now, this gives you plus 25 health. However, if you have no friends, I recommend honestly you just skip this and go at this at a completely different time because it is honestly really hard, and you're not going to be able to do that by yourself. Kind of similar to most bosses starting out in the game. So, Follow my footsteps again. Basically, we're gonna go to the next quest that you can do once you're 30. And here it is right here. You're gonna be farming on these guys right here until you are 40. Now these guys are even harder than the um, crep marines. So I highly recommend you guys just take this one patient. And uh, you know, if you have a friend, this will go a lot quicker. But this is pretty much the entirety of Shellstown. Um, you pretty much stay till Shell's Town to 40 to 45. So I know I just said 40, but uh, if you want to like be the most prepared for the next town we're about to go to, 45. However, you can completely leave at 40. Okay, guys. So once you guys are level 40 to 45, this is where you can kind of do what you want. In my last level guide, a lot of people were complaining in the comments that I stayed at Baratie for too long. But you gotta realize I'm going for efficiency here um, and the quickest method. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can go to Island of Zoo from 40 and stay there till like 75, then go to Baratie, or you can go to Baratie at 40 and stay at Baratie until 105. I did the latter, you know, I stayed at Baratie from 40 to 105 when I leveled up. However, a lot of people may consider that boring because that's well over 60 plus levels that you're at Baratie for. But keep in mind, um, with Baratie, it's super easy. You're hitting them through the walls um, and you know you, you can't be hit. It's super easy and it's super fast. So what we're gonna do is, you know, from straight from 40, 40 to 45, we're gonna go straight to Baratie. However, I'm going to show you guys um, how to get to the other islands anyways, in case you guys decided you guys want to go to those other islands as well. So we're going to show how to get to Baratie, and this is, you know, if following my guide, 40 to 105. 60 plus levels, I know it sounds like a lot, um, however, trust me, it is a grind, but this is really quick. You know, super easy, super fast method to get to 105. I did it within like a couple hours from 40 to 105, no joke. Um, and yeah, I mean, really, it's just a brain dead easy method. However, I will show how to get to the other islands in case you guys do want to go there. Okay, so we're at Bratier. And if you guys were to um, do this my way, you'd be at 40 to 45, you'd pick up this quest. And basically what you'd be doing is you would be basically hitting them through the wall like so like that and if you have a fruit obviously use a fruit and kill them that way but it's really easy and uh, the best way to do it honestly is to gather a bunch of them like so and basically you know go through the wall and kill them this way if you have a fruit you can do it that way so it is a really easy method so from 40 to 105 this is my method 
However, not my method, but this is the method that I used to uh, level up. However, the other way you can do, which I'm gonna teleport back to uh, Shell's time real quick. So you guys can see we're back at Shell's. Another method you could use is go to Island of Zoo, which straight from Shell's is between Southwest and West. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, what to do at Zoo when you get there. Okay, so we're approaching Zo right now. And there is only one quest at um, Island of Zo. And it is this quest right here. Now, these guys right here at Zoo are pretty strong. Um, so I recommend you guys take this one easy. But if you guys don't want to do the Brate method, what you could do is you could stay here from 40 to 60, then go to Brate from 60 to 80. And then we're gonna show two other islands from Baratier. Okay, now straight from Baratier, you can go to um, one of two islands. I'll show you guys how to get to either or. You can go to Monkey Island, and uh, the method we're talking about over here is from Zoo 40 to 60, um, Baratier 60 to 80, and then we're gonna go to uh, Monkey Island next. Okay guys, so now that we're at Sphinx Island, there's only two quests on Sphinx Island that you can do. And uh, one of them right here is fighting these little monkeys over here, and one of them right here is fighting the little monkey king. Now, um, I'm only showing you guys this method to show you guys, you can kind of mix and match um, like each of these islands as you want. You can do my method, 40 to 105 with Baratier, or you could do the method where you're going to all the different islands. And it'll take a little bit longer, but it'll be more fun of a um, method this way. So you guys can stay here. If you're at Baratier from 80, you guys can stay here till like around 90, 95. And then we can go to the next island. So straight from Sphinx Island to get to Arlong Park. You kind of just go straight in between of Northeast and East. You guys can see I'm going straight here. I'm just going to fast forward this for you guys. So you guys can see we are coming close to our long park right now. And if I remember correctly, there is only two quests you can do, or two or three quests you can do on our long park. Um, and one of the quests is the actual boss, Arlong himself, which you can get right here. And basically you just go in this room and fight Arlong himself. And then the other quest you can get, I'm pretty sure it is right here. And all you do is fight these NPCs right here, the uh, the sharks. Um, these guys are a bit hard for the level you to be at, so I recommend you just use this method right here, where you get aggro on them. And for example, you see right here, and then you just climb over this wall or gepo, and you just hit them through the wall, and do it like so. Now, if you do, um, if you want to do all the other islands. Pretty much you can just go through all these other islands and level as you see fit however if you're doing my method straight from shells from 40 to 45 you should go to baratier and level up to 105 that way um i just included all these other islands because in the last leveling guide i did a lot of people were complaining that i did not include these islands um, and they said it was boring that you can do uh it was boring to stay at baratier the whole time a lot of people actually hated the baratier method but you gotta admit it works man but um, just to make it simpler for you, so after Shell's Town, you go to Zoo at 0 to 60, then you go from Zoo uh, at 60 to Baratier, and stay at Baratier till 80. Then from 80 at Baratier, you can literally go to either this island or Sphinx Island and level up to 105 as you see fit. I'm just saying this just so it'll make your adventure more interesting, and uh, this way you'll get all the islands um, and get to experience all the islands that way. But if you want the quickest way, like I said, um, from shells, from 40, all the way to Baratier, 
stay right here at 105. Alrighty guys, so now we are back at Shell's Town. We're just kind of on the coast of Shell's Town right now, as you guys can see, the docks are over here. The reason we're back on Shell's Town is because now that you know you're at level 105, I showed you guys my method and then an alternative method. So uh, if you guys don't like that, they really don't know what to tell you. Anyways, now that we're at 105, we gotta go to Sky Island. And the best way to do it is to go straight to Shell's Town. And you guys, you can see, Obviously, you guys won't have the log post, but from this area, this side of Shellstown, pretty much it's like northeast, in between northeast and uh, east. And you kind of just go straight this way um, for a while. It is actually kind of far. I will say that much. So, yeah. I will speed this up so you guys don't have to watch this whole thing. But this is how you get to uh, Sky Island. And as you guys see, I am coming close up to it. The log post is a bit off. So right now, as you guys can see, um, I am going to the knock-up stream. But I would say the best way to find Skypea um, during either sunrise or sunset. You guys can see sunrise right here. All the way from Shellstown, you will be able to see this knock-up stream right here. Um, as you guys can see right here. And I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how you actually get up the knock-up stream. So I'm going to despawn my boat. And I'm just going to get like... Uh, I'm just going to get a rowboat or a caravel. Shoot, let's do a caravel. So you guys can see right here. I have my caravel. And all you do is you just go inside the knock-up stream. And this is going to take a bit because I am very low uh, boat health. But all you do is you go inside the boat. You go inside the knock-up stream with the boat. And then basically you just keep moving up in the air. My boat's not high enough, so I won't be able to do this. But if you have Gepo, all you have to do is after you're up in the knock stream, you just jump some and then bam, you guys can see now we are at Heaven's Gate, otherwise known as Skypea. And this area is huge and all and pretty big. However, I will say that last um, leveling guide, my method wasn't really efficient. This time, we will do a more efficient and fast method, I promise. So first off, obviously, you just want to set your spawn here. The first area you want to go at when you get through this uh, gate is you want to go over here, right over here. And this is going to be the only quest you're going to be able to accept at first. And you're going to be able to accept this to, at 105. And you're going to stay at this quest from 105 to 110. So literally just five levels you're fighting on these guys. Um, they're not really that good in terms of like XP wise and uh, Up here. I don't really recommend you guys do this quest either um, This quest all you got all you got to do is just uh, fight this guy up here As you guys can see right here This is this is all you do just Malcolm's Slayer. I don't really recommend fighting Malcolm um, He's not really that good of a quest either so I don't, I don't really recommend doing that. And plus, it's going to be really hard to do by yourself. So after you're at 110 from this, I highly recommend you, you just follow me real quick. So as you guys can see, we're going up these stairs. And from here on in, there's two things you can do. So this quest right here, you can pick this up at 110. From this quest right here, all you have to do is just come in here and fight on these guys. Now this quest actually gives a decent amount of XP. And what you can do here is you can pick up these guys and then you can go through this wall and hit them through here. So you guys can see, I hit them through the wall. If you guys have a fruit, it makes it a lot easier as well. But all you need is just a sword to hit them through the wall. So you can really gather them all up, hit them through the wall, and level them that way. Now, this right here is the most giving XP quest in Skypea. So, you're really the best thing you can do is stay on this quest to 160. Um, however, just to give you guys an alternate method, 
I will say you guys can come over here and go up to the upper yard um, and do another quest. However, if you just if you guys just want the most efficient method, do that from 110 to 160, and uh, then we'll go to the next one. But I'm gonna show you guys this other method as well, just for the sake of showing you guys that. Okay, so now we're up here, and the other quest you guys can do is right over here. And one of these two quests, you guys can fight either these gunners, Bruno gunners, or uh, Bruno himself. Now the reason I don't really recommend doing this is because this is going to be a relatively hard to do by yourself unless you have a good fruit, and it just takes too long for the amount of XP you get. Honestly, that quest down there is the fastest uh, method to uh, get to, to 160. Now, on my other uh, guide, I said you should get to 175 from here. However, you can just straight up go to Gravitos Fort at 160. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so once you are level 160, I recommend going to Gravitos Fort straight away. Well, straight from Skyrock to get to Gravitos Fort, you go pretty much full northwest straight from the Skypian Rock, a um, little bit above Nordblitz. So I'm just gonna speed it up from here. All right, yo, um, one thing to note, as you guys might have seen during the footage, there is rough waters on the way from Skypea Rock to Gravitas Fort, so just be careful of that, um, so you don't, so you guys don't get caught up in that. So, on Gravitas Fort, you're gonna come here at 260. Obviously, you're gonna set your spawn here and whatnot. And the first quest you're gonna do, and there, there, there's two things you can do here. You can stay on this first quest and do this all the way up until 290. Um, the best way to do this is just to gather them all up into a big group and even if you don't have a fruit you can just use black leg or even one sword style uh, rapid slashes to kill them all in one fell swoop so you can either do that all the way to 190 and then go to the next area or you can cycle between that quest and this quest right here however these little guards that are around gravito are very strong and hard to kill so it is completely up to you. I, I personally, I cycle between these two up until 190. I actually did it to 200. However, you can do it through 190 just so you can get out of this area quicker. But um, 190 to 200, that's completely up to you. You can leave at 190 if you want or stay till 200. That's all up to you. So the next island we're gonna go to is Fishman, which is 190 to 260. Um, I know it sounds like a lot of time there, however, trust me, it does go by quick. Okay guys, so straight from Gravitos Fort, um, it's actually a fairly straightforward area. So basically you go straight from Gravitos Fort and you just go straight between Northeast and East and you'll run directly into Fishman Cave. Also another thing, um, in the last level gang I did, a lot of people said I went through the maze too quickly. And therefore, a lot of people got lost due to that. I'm very sorry for that. I will go through it slower this time, just so you guys can keep up. And I'll also call out uh, where to go so you guys don't get lost during that. Oops, I accidentally ran straight into Fishman Cave. My bad for that. All right, so now that we're here, make sure you get your bubble. And uh, make sure you have like a sword or something, or maybe like, you devil fruit because sharks are going to come and you don't want to get killed by sharks. Also make sure you have your hockey on. So when you come to here, take the first left, then take the next right, then the next left again. Make sure you jump up, then go down, take the next left, and then the right again, another right, the next left again. Okay, so take the next right. Take another left again, then followed by directly another left. Go right, go up, and then down. 
Um, hopefully that was slow enough for you guys. Uh, if you guys needed me to do it again, just rewatch the video. So yeah. So from here, you come here at 190 or either 190 to 200. And the only like real quest you're gonna need to do is this one right here. Um, this quest actually gives a decent amount of XP. So basically you accept it, gather all these guys up and just kill them in one fell swoop. You're gonna be doing this all the way until 260. Honestly, I feel like it's the quickest method. However, if you wanted something else, you can do two other quests, but you're only gonna really be able to do them with friends. This quest right here, you accept it and you fight Neptune. And the other quest is up here. You basically um, take that one and you fight the boss that's called Ryu. You can solo Ryu with the method. Um, however, I do re really recommend that you have friends for these two quests right here. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of uh, strife trying to do this by yourself. So anyways, um, this is, I guess, a bit of a grind. But due to the quest giving a, a actual good amount of XP, it is fairly quick to get to 260. I won't lie to you. But uh, after this, um, in my personal opinion, I recommend skipping Marine Ford and just going straight to ELO uh, from 260 is what I recommend. Uh, in all honesty, um, the Marine Ford quests are not exactly that good, but I will show the Marine Ford I uh, Island anyways. So I'm going to turn PAP pads back on. And straight from here, Marine Ford. I'm gonna show you guys how to get there. So straight from here, you go west, straight west. And this is actually pretty far, so this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna speed this up a lot. Okay guys, so we've arrived at Marine Ford, and I'm basically going to be explaining to you guys the best quests you should do from Marine Ford that you can build by yourself. So first off, if you have a bit of a long range fruit that can reach up here, I would say do this quest. Pika, Goro can do it, and uh, Mero, Mera can do it. I'm not sure about other fruits. Um, I'm, I'm really not too sure about other fruits, but with Pika, I did this quest for a bit and farmed on it for a bit and it was honestly just easy levels. So that is one quest you can do. Another quest you can do is going in here and cycling between these two quests. Um, these are the only real quests I would say are worth it in Marine Ford and most of these quests don't even give like good XP. So that is why I kind of, kind of recommend not doing Marine Ford quests in general. It just doesn't give as much XP as the next island we're going to go to. So um, I would say, honestly, if coming here at 260, you could stay here till like 270 and then come to uh, Elo Island, which is actually just completely south of here. But to be certain, I'm going to get my blog post out. Right here, here we go. Elo. As you can see, it's pretty much um, a little less than south of uh, Marine Ford. A little under south, a lot above southwest. Alright guys, so we are arriving at Elo Island, and as you guys can see, obviously you set your log post here or whatnot. There is a quest that actually is really good in this uh, island, and it is this one right here. Uh, basically what you have to do is you have to kill these little bunnies that Elo Bunny spawns. This guy right here, after a while of attacking him, he will spawn bunnies. Um, and you just have to kill a ton of them. This quest actually gives a lot of XP, and the thing is, 
you can do this quest multiple times within one time of fighting elo i would do this i would be able to do this quest like around three times and then do this one one time um while fighting elo and i would honestly get like plenty of levels doing this this way and while we're at elo um another thing you can do is cb's farm all the way to max just straight this way there are some rough waters and you can get a sea beast bring them all the way back here and fight them this way and sea beasts are honestly a really good uh way of leveling when i was leveling to max i would get like one to two levels from a sea beast so uh that is my method guys um if you guys don't like it that's completely fine this is just the method i use to get to max and it is what worked for me i threw in some alternative methods in here in case you guys wanted some other methods instead of the boring you know grind method so yeah, this was a highly requested video. Um, I know I wasn't the first one to come up with this video idea. Emerald did, so go subscribe to Emerald down below. I wasn't trying to copy him or whatever. It's just a lot of people, like actually a ton of people requested that I do this video. And the one from update two popped off a lot. So uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video and hope this video actually helps a lot of y'all out. I'll see you on the next one. It's been your boy Clouds. Peace.